day starts pretty early on, printing out notes for that night's game. It's a whole lot more than just showing up for a seven o'clock broadcast and a seven o'clock puck drop. It's, you know, you get into the rink at 8.30 in the morning, you print out notes for the coaches, you make sure they have their materials you, uh, they need, but also the things that you need for your broadcast. You, know, you print out the rosters, you print out uh, daily stats where you look at the power plays and the penalty kills and, you know, different stats that help to add to your broadcast. And then so throughout the afternoon, you constantly look at those notes, you go through, you highlight stuff, you circle stuff, you write as much information down and usually you use maybe 10% of, of the overall preparation that you do throughout the day in the broadcast, but it helps to prepare you if something comes up and more times than not something fluky or something unique comes up that you want to talk about and because of the work you put in during the day, it's, uh, it pays off there during your broadcast. One of the other things you know, I like to do is sit down with our head coach, uh, Brent Thompson, before the game and, and have a conversation with him, see what his thoughts were on the game previously. I'll also talk with our players in the locker room. You know, I'll go up to our captain, um, one of the guys that's playing well, and uh, just kind of get a feel for you know, how they're settling into the season, um, what they thought about a big goal the night before, and uh, that really helps you make the broadcast personal, uh, not only in a, a way that the fans can relate to you, but uh, as they can relate to all the players down below and uh, you know everybody that's on the bench and everybody that's on the ice. I like broadcasting hockey because it's it's so unpredictable. You know, you drop the puck and anything can happen. You never know what's going to happen that night. Um, you know, it could be a one nothing shutout. It could be a, a seven six. You know, high scoring affair. You never really know, and so that's why you do all the preparation going in, and so you're you're prepared for those situations when they arise. And uh, again, it's it's so unpredictable. No two games are the same. Walking into the rink every day, you uh, you never know what to expect, and that that makes it a lot of fun. The game winner would be from Colton Hargrove. There's Jeff Kubiak, the bottom of the right circle, he scores! Sharp angle shot, Pennington. I think he thought the game was already over.